And we're live! Oh no, does it not pick up my audio? Oh, it did. Maybe? Maybe. Ooh, it did. Okay, cool. I, I hear you through it. Cool, cool, cool. And for a second, the bar didn't do anything. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. We are so excited to be picking up from our last game where we pulled from the deck of any things. As you can see, maybe there's some changes. Uh, just a little bit. Just, just. Hi, Sam. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna let my players introduce themselves before we get started. Then we'll do a little recap, and then we'll dive right into what this game is going to be. So, uh, you know what? Let's start. Let's start with Sam. Sam, you can start, and then you can popcorn another round. Yes, yeah, Sam. Uh, hey, I'm Sam from Fable Masters, and uh, today I'll be playing Sil Rowden Leclerc. Not so old anymore, but more a little bit, a bit of an edge. <laughs> so angry! <laughs> and yet so sensitive. <sighs> you can popcorn it to whoever you want to go next. <gasps> Hello, beautiful people. Hey, how's it going? My name is... <clears throat> oh! Name! <laughs> My name is Robin, the artist formerly known as Matt. I'm doing that uh, mask non-binary thing where I name myself Robin. It's going very well so far. Thank you so much for asking. I am playing Look, Clayton. Moved. I moved. You moved. On stream or in the world? I was going to say, what? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess just on my Zoom. I don't know. Didn't <laughs> change for us. So oh. I was like, what? Yes. I don't know. Scary. Uh, <laughs> I'm here today playing Leighton, uh, a, an owl wizard who is doing just fine. Mentally sound. Not at all cracking at the strands of the weave. Oh, buddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love how a couple uh, of you are just like, oh, no, 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 the girl, the glow up we had was existential tri crisis. Like, that's it. Hey, like, listen. That's... A, a, a thing that we all as people need to come to terms with is that the good of everyone is is going to be bad for a few people. You're right. <laughs> Leighton and Rowden are those people who are <laughs> very bad for. Uh, but yes. Yeah, that's me. Cool. Oh, good. Who do you want to get popcorn yeah. it to? Um, I'm gonna shoot down for me, which is Kelly. Oh, why are you okay? Everything is for me. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I'm Kelly. I use she they pronouns, and I I am playing uh Millie Blunderbuck, the ranger, who is just living the dream, the same old dream. Day after day, after day, after day. It's very exciting. I'm gonna popcorn it over to Tanner. Uh, hi, I'm Tanner. <laughs> uh, you can find me anywhere on the internet at Mithril Warlock. I am playing Cassidy, uh, our our Teasling Earth Ganassi artificer who's currently having her hot, her hot girl summer. So. <gasps> Hell yeah, she oh, is so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> uh, oh, and yes. popcorning over to Petra. Hello, hello. I am Petra Skelton. You can find me various places online at Pre Apocalypse. I make games. I play on other channels like Exquisite Corpse. And I was previously playing Tyrant Lastborn. Don't fucking trust it. What does that mean? What do you mean? I'm excited. I don't know if people can see, but in the Zoom, oh, yeah. in our Zoom this meeting, Petra has put it all as question marks for character name. And that Correct. is truly delicious. I didn't even no notice. That's infuriating. Born. That's infuriating to me. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm born. not great with secrets. <laughs> <Tyrant> I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not great with secrets. This is too much. I mean, statistically, the name has to come up at some point during this session, so... It will. It will. Don't worry. I'm just... You didn't even say that awfully convincing. Like, you just... I'm not convinced that, that you Petra specifically, believe. like, is just here to mess with us and is not going to have a character the whole session. It's a quote. Oh, oh, it's... 
the thing is though, Petra would commit to that, and I know it. <laughs> See, I know she would. It would literally just be me sitting here the entire time, and it keeps going to each character and like where what you're doing, all that, and then you're like, "Well, Ivy, where's Tyrant? It's oh, Tyrant wasn't born. It's like oh, what? Just it. Oh, oh, Petra's not playing. They're just here. <laughs> 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 all right, so, but I lie, Petra is playing. But um, to jump into a little bit of a recap of where our players started on this adventure, our players started in the apocalypse 25 years ago as a portal to Avernus itself unleashed a hellscape onto the world. And our lovely players, 25 years later, doing whatever they were doing at the time, born into the apocalypse, exploring the apocalypse, surviving devil and demon, as a group, eventually, discovering new things, uh, made their way to fates and realms they probably never anticipated. One in such place being the realm of fate, Nexus, uh, where she had given you a choice to play her game, to play their game, as you wandered into a room with a deck of many things, and having received some magic items previously in this realm of fate, uh, you each got a unique and special magic item that was tailored to your character that seemed to draw them in. You en entered into the room with the god of fate and in that discussion with them you decided to create a new timeline after much discussion much uh arguing and bickering between your party tyrant being the only one at the time to be separated from the group having gone to the door themselves without receiving an item but eventually did receive an item while they were leaving Having used those magic items while they were bickering, Millie used theirs, which happened to be a key. A key that opened to a door to a god that was locked in the void itself, that even the god of fate seemed confused as to why he was there and who he was. Something that is strange and stuck out at the time as being a little bit odd as to why she didn't know who was behind the door. Um, but in that conversation, Millie, you asked if everything would be okay, and you asked why the god was there. To both answers, he said that love would be put before duty. And that was proven when Cassie had Leighton in their mind's eye create an entire timeline that the apocalypse never happened, where you could withhold your memories and enter into that timeline, which seemed a little faded and transparent at the time because it was missing yourselves. One by one, you all stepped through the door into a scene that was different from what you had left. Some of you seeming to grow younger. Some of you uh, being greeted on the other side by a creature that previously had been joined together and is now two separate entities, Steve and Ven. And some of you stepped into a grassy field the likes of which you had never seen or smelled grass. And it's here that we find ourselves in a very different and strange and new world with the same characters much changed let's start with i'll tell you what let's 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 do a dice roll let's see who we're starting with today let's let's do it by let's do it via roll let's do it via roll just me really hoping it's millie oh. no uh it actually every, everybody else will be more exciting than millie no, 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 no. Um, no, 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 no. Why are you <laughs> saying that? You are underselling. Stop it. Um, no, we're actually going to start with our dear Rowden. Hey, Rowden. Yes. Oh, um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this will be excellent. I'm so excited it. for this. Rowden, no, I'm you, not. While you exited Nexus Realm, you had shredded those robes off of yourself to disappearing into the void no longer needing them you had walked forward to the door where did you go where did, where did we find you now uh yeah before before meeting up with everyone you see Rowden like those lines upon lines of age upon age that just defined a lot of what Rowden became uh in the apocalypse uh uh, that cataclysm defined was a defining moment for him, and this brought him back to that 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 edge that where he needed to decide where he was going next in life, and and 
as he goes back, he reconnects with his old self, his his a, a different self, a the fire of death, a a archon of of the unliving, and uh, as he returns to his self, his god, not dead, but undying once more. Rowden no longer has to live off the scraps of other gods anymore. He, he, uh, when the cataclysm came, he sought solace in the glow giver because it was through th those pieces of, of, of her that he regained power for when the cataclysm struck, he lost everything. And no longer having lost his connection to the undying he continued his work moving about the lands bringing interesting facets of of undeath and and uh always posing the question of <clears throat> everything and everything everyone in this world dies but what if you could have lived what would you accomplish if you could have lived and giving those possibilities out to more than just himself, but to a new flock of followers. A different flock of followers. One still guarded by fate that was given to him through a certain deck. Uh, as uh, Cecilia the fighter uh, will follow Rowden wherever he goes, his second in command. Um, as Rowden continues to go about no longer hindered by the lack of undeath. Uh, he searches for something that still binds him, an attachment to this world that one final thing he needs to shed as he searches for all of you. No. <laughs> when, when you say one thing to shed and searching for us, you're not trying to shed us, right? Yeah. Well, are, like, that's what I I don't want to die. <laughs> Weird. Um, Revan, um, what does your second in command look like as she runs up to you? What is she, she wearing? Uh, uh, a pale faced dwarf, um, with long silver hair braided into a like into her beard, so it's very intricate. Um, beautiful little jewels adorning every little piece of it, so that no matter what part of the moonlight strikes her. Uh, it reflects and, and uh, creates this glow that is seeming to encompass her wherever she goes. Uh, Cecilia is uh, three and a half feet, a little bit short for a dwarf, uh, but um, full of spunk. Um, uh, same facial markings as Rowden. Uh, you see like the tattoos uh, on their eyes. Uh, and her face is a little sunken, a little hollow. Um, and yet medial at the same time They're not um, friendly those those who know undeath better than most um she's on that edge she, she maybe she's a vampire maybe she's half a vampire maybe something else maybe something else <laughs> when, <laughs> when she rushes up to you she's a little out of breath kind of fixes her hair smooths down the corners and the edges as she looks up to you we found one of them one well one's not a bad start uh, we should head in that direction immediately it's, it's Suspend just end all of our operations in this quadrant and let us go the hunt is on. She hands you a paper with a location of a singular individual. <laughs> Interesting. I did not expect to find this one first. A great opportunity, wouldn't you say? I, I, it's, it's the best we could do. Uh, sh short notice, but I will let the rest of them know and then we'll get on our way. Very well, the one that got us into all this, the Threadbinder themselves, let us find Cassidy. 
Love that. Delicious. Yum, 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 I should have taken a sip of coffee right at that point. That was excellent timing on your all parts. All right. <laughs> and you set off with a location, or at least a start of a location for this particular endeavor, this particular quest that you have assigned to yourselves. Um, we're going to move over to Millie. We're going we're gonna to see what Millie's up to. Okay. Kelly, when you yes. step through that door mm -hmm. for Millie... On the other side was two bears that you immediately recognized as Steve and Ben, no longer two-headed, but themselves. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about where you ended up and what you're up to now. Okay. Well, the, uh, kind of, kind, I know everything's kind of like hazy between these two realities that we just lived, but yeah, Yes. Um, she arrives back and she's, ne she's never ever wanted glory in her life. What she would have liked was some recognition for like the hard work that she's done throughout her life. Um, and having some sense that She's at least partially the reason why the world looks much better now. She returns to her hometown of Terios, realizing that she has nothing to prove that she's done anything. No, ch like that she had no part in this change. That she she has nothing to do with this new timeline that has been created. So all she does is you, she goes back to what she knows. You know, she grows up and she's trained in the same way, except the same need for it isn't there. The world isn't constantly trying to kill her or her people or her family. So she has all of these skills but nowhere to report to, nothing to forage for, nothing to scavenge, nothing to explore. So she stays. She stays in Terios and she guards the village and she spends hours and hours up in a watchtower shooting at nothing, just staring out off into this vast expanse of woods and forest and knowing that once she really did something, at one time, she did so much. And now her life feels much smaller. And she takes, uh, you know, she takes breaks and she goes out into the forest where she tends to feel a little bit more alive than, than her, the usual humdrum of her day-to-day -day life. And she plays with... Steven, uh, Steve and Ben, um, and so she also, this is kind of, okay, because we're playing with realities, I have this idea that Please. she feels compelled to visit a friend, so she goes out into the woods to visit her friend in the void. But she doesn't quite remember the framework. She doesn't remember, oh, she has three questions. She has this, she has that. This is just somebody she goes to see. It's somebody she goes to have lunch with. But every time she leaves, it's like hazy when she departs from him. It's like she knows, she, she almost thinks this is something she has concocted. <laughs> to liven up her days. She questions what this actually is. I but... have a very important question for you. Oh, as boy. your DM. <laughs> okay. How many times do you open the door? How many times do I open the door? Hmm? Um Oh gosh. I I mean, she is she's desperate for excitement of 
any kind, she she goes in often. often. Okay. Okay, like, cool. How many times do you think it's often? Um, maybe, like, three, four times a week. <laughs> okay. Kelly? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, wait, wait, okay, wait. I'm, gonna oh, no. you, I'm gonna put you in a little scene here. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no. Millie heads out to the woods. Yes. She she prepares to use this key. This is the fourth time you've used this key. Okay. What is yes. the questions that you have asked until this point? Have you asked important ones, or is this a leisurely conversation? That it's 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 more like she's just going to see a friend. She hasn't been asking, like, life-shattering, reality-altering questions. Okay. It's like, how was your day? Even though she knows every time she goes in, he's here. Okay. He's been in the same spot. <laughs> um, you have two questions left to ask him at this point. Yes. Yes. Pick two questions. They can be about him. They can be about you. They can be about fate. They can be about anything. Think about what two questions you want to ask him before you okay. open the door. You've already said that you're opening it. I need to know what questions you would have asked to give you the answers up until this point. Okay. And this is important. Okay. <laughs> so I will okay. give you a second to think about it. That you know for a fact about him that he yes. has been there. He does not know for how long. He does not realize there is a secondary reality now. And you know that he put love before duty, and he, that is the reason he is here. You can ask anything along those lines. You can ask anything about fate. You can ask where the friends that you are hazy and your memory are. I just will need to know what they are. Well, I already, I already knew I was going... Because now I've established him as a friend in mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. I want to ask him how can I go about freeing him. Okay. He... I know that for sure. You ask about freeing him, and he is unable to respond to you. Unable to respond to me. Unable to respond to you. Okay. As if he says the words and nothing comes out. Um, the question is void. You have two more still. Okay. Oh, crap. I will um, come back to you if you want and you can think about it. Come back to me. Come cool. back to me. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Come back I, to me. I'm going to jump us over to Layton. Layton. You, when you stepped oh. through that door, stepped into a library. You smell the heavy musk of books. You smell a candle. It is dim in the room that you had stepped into. What have you been up to? Where have you, where have you been? What are you up to now? Leighton's Leighton's one is interesting. 25 years ago, there was supposed to be a, a cataclysm and it didn't happen. But at that moment, because you said that we all have the memories of both you timelines. Um, Leighton didn't retroactively get those memories like stepping through this timeline didn't give them them but 25 years ago they just started having dreams and visions of this cataclysm that happened 25 years ago they were a professor in a very prestigious uh magic academy and over the next few years they they started rambling about how nothing the, how this timeline doesn't make sense and how it shouldn't exist and there's this grander purpose and everyone should be dead and then about 10 years into this they're still there they're an exce they also woke up in this one day being so every all of these magical professors are like let's say level six if we were to put a level yeah on. if you put a level on it you know low levels yeah Leighton before this was also around uh, but it's low, level five six yeah. Um, but then one day woke up and was level 12 with like all of this knowledge. Um, about 10 years down this route, they were like, well, we can't 
Leighton's clearly having like this some form of psychotic break, but we can't fire them because they are a really good teacher still. They are very passionate and have like a, a, this huge amount of knowledge and almost kept him around because he's just so like now is like so smart, has all of this magic that Leighton wrote down in this old tome for at that point to record lost magic, but now has hidden magic from cults and temples that don't let anyone in, masters of craft. Leighton just has the answers to these weird specific puzzles. About 10 years down the line, Leighton is speaking to some student. The student goes, why, what is that skull that's on your desk? Uh, and Leighton sees for the first time that there is this heavy, thick, like skin bound tome with a skull on top of it. And it's been on Leighton's desk for as long as they can remember. It's just there and, and, and they just never saw it. They've always seen it, but they've never seen it. And it is for the first time they've seen it. And they're like, this. these two items must be some form of great revelation that I'm just not privy to right now. This tome has Leighton's visions all written in it. These This, this cataclysmic world, these spells and almost like codes to, to doors and temples and se locations of secret rooms that no one except for the people that run these guilds know. And Lane just knows all of these things and has it written down. And this skull, this skull must be something to do with it. Um, another 10 years go by, Leighton is a raving lunatic at this point. There, the, this library is filled with tomes of theorizing and writing on the walls of this other realm and people that they have met and gods that they have having conversations with. Um, their whole wing of like where they teach everything gets locked off from this uh, academy. They don't allow people to go visit Leighton. Leighton at this point is just called the professor and is a myth in this uh, place just oh you don't go there because the professor's up there and the professor will kill you uh is is like <laughs> they are a madman who lives in this wing of an academy sometimes they'll get children who go up uh who are learning uh and and just are like oh my god i dare you to go into the forbidden wing of the of the academy and they go there and there is just scribbles and writing everywhere lost graffiti ghosts existing alongside uh, oh yeah it's a hundred percent like uh, so uh, fucking haunted. It's like a, a rite of passage for all of the freshmen where they have to go to the professor's. It's a form of yes. hazing. I bet you won't. I <laughs> yeah. bet you won't. Yeah, I bet you Let's fucking do won't do it. Um, <laughs> an additional five years go by and we hit this 25-year mark. Uh, Leighton's, this library that Leighton wakes up in after stepping through the door, Leighton has now, like, has de-aged 15 years because of their dealings with fate. And now, all of a sudden, everything just makes sense. Um, the past 25 years of visions, the scribblings, the ravings, the skull, the tome, uh, everything, it just makes sense. I am from a different dimension. I spoke to God, and I, with the help of people who do exist, and I know exist, have changed the course of fate and the only reason anyone is alive in this realm is because almost that i willed it Leighton walks into this library steps on a wall there they've been locked in this in this one library for so long that um it's become almost this like out of space space it's a um, labyrinth they like step yeah, they like step on a wall and then all perspective shifts as all of the like bookshelves are now on the ground and they just walk on the wall and can do on the ceiling and um, they like slip through bookshelves and they get to this one like uh, tarp covered machine. Uh, they, oh, it's, it's not even a machine, it's just this tarp covered object and they pull off this tarp and uh, they're on the other uh like underneath hidden dust floats and falls up since they are on the ceiling at this point um is this like steampunk altar of it looks like someone sat in a like they sat and died in a throne there are like pipes into uh 
weird, strange metal objects, uh, symbols from all these different gods, and things that don't exist but makes pure sense to Leighton. Um, vials and bubbling everything. Uh, this, like, steampunk uh, altar that on the head of this thing that, again, looks kind of like a, a king who is sat on a throne um, is the skull that they placed on and uh, they've no, they've never known what to do with this skull. They've always known that it is the secret, though. It is the solution. So over their mad maddening 25 years, they ended up building this shrine and this machine to uh, worship it, understand it. it. Nothing made sense until right now. Um, and uh, and they they look at this this skull that has been sat there for past fifteen years. Um, there, they they in this world they look thin, but they look thin in a different way to how Leighton looked thin. Leighton looked thin because of it's cataclysm, it's malnourishment. Leighton looks thin now because of just pure ravenous madness. Um, and. I think similar to Rowden. Um, <laughs> I must find the others. I must find the others. Uh, I know where they are. I know, I know, I know. We, we can make this work. Um, the only people who understand. Okay, okay. Um, now, how long has it... This is a weird question, all right? Oh, yes, yeah. But I cast the spell... Um, Te uh, telepathic bond which uh -huh. uh, lasts, lasts for one hour it has no range limit but I did right. cast it in the other timelined plane yes uh, <laughs> and then we step through the door now if this is this is a different <laughs> dimension but it crosses planes and dimensions however Correct. it would be the same time yes right yes can I communicate with everyone in my mind? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> there, the, 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 the thing with it, Leighton, is you've had so many voices in your head. There has been so much yeah. happening. There has been Truly. many a voice. There has been God's voices that you remember a group call with every deity in existence. You remember trying to sift oh and God. weave through yeah. all of that. Yes. Of course their voices have been lost in it. Of course you haven't been able to, to contact them up until this point. Do you know how hard that is? But yes, you do. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, first message, first message, first message. Um, it can't be anything too specific. Because if anyone else is listening in, then that means that they will listen to. And that means they will come here. That means that it'll all be broken. There are people outside. There are people in this university who are listening. The head teacher needs to be seceded. The head teacher can't know what I know. The god teacher, no, no one can. There are kings. There are kings and there are gods that exist that didn't exist before. Layton, who do you think you know, is the, uh, the headmaster of this university? Um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a piece of knowledge and it's gonna all click for you. Who do I think it is? Yeah. Is are you are you asking me? Are you asking me to make a head teacher? Or are you asking no. me to? No. I'm telling you. I'm take telling you. Guess. Take a wild okay. guess. Take a wild guess. Ooh. Is it Evangeline? It is Evangeline. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she does not know any of this. However, Leighton knows uh, that in her teaching, yeah. she has been very, um, she does not hide the fact that she is always for the many against the few. And pieces mm -hmm. start to fall into place in your mind now that maybe even if you had died, she would not have mind then sent somebody else because the few against the many that somebody had to fix it. Ah. Uh. Oh, she knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. She knows, but she doesn't know. But she would know. But she could know. I have to get the others here. I have to get the others here. And if she finds out, then she has to die. Has to die, because there's no other way. There's no other way for this to 
work. Okay, all right. Okay, first message. First message to everyone. Um, I think rather than words, this kind of like emotional hit hits inside of everyone's mind. Where it's the location of the university, <clears throat> and just it's time. Because Leighton has been working up to this for 25 years. But everyone else has just stepped through a door. <laughs> so it's a bit weird. But Leighton's like, everyone just hears, uh, uh, it is time. It is time. Come here. Come. Uh, give me the name of this university. This is Demore University. This is the head university. Demore? Mm-hmm. Demore University. It is time. The Forbidden Wing. We must gather. What? What? And then, and, and then, Leighton <laughs> cuts all communication. Cuts the bond what? amongst everyone. Wait! What? Wait! <laughs> From Amazing. up in the watchtower? <laughs> uh, walks past the ceiling, down the wall, sits at his desk that has not, that is like, just so full of maps of the world, and then like, on top of a map of the current world is like charcoal drawings of a destroyed realm as they have like mapped out what the realm became in their mind um sits and then i am going to ready a disintegrate for if anyone walks in that isn't one of these five people oh my uh, okay all right i will disintegrate oh whoever God. walks in the door like okay. on I, edge i'm really glad that there's already so much there's so many stories about you, so hopefully nobody will go through the door. Yeah, nobody's gonna go. But if it's, if it, yeah, exactly. No one in the school will go walk in, but if there's some, like, new hotshot teacher that's like, yeah, I'll go in, he walks in, yeah, and I'll gets do immediately it. disintegrated. Instantaneously. <laughs> I, I almost, okay. oh, like, you gave me so much power in a single moment. Yeah. I was like, I could just kill an NPC right now. Um, okay. Oh my God. So yes, that message rings out in all of your minds. Uh -huh. I'm gonna jump to Cassie. Cassie, what are you doing in the middle of getting this message? We're going. We'll start off with where, what happened when you walked out of that door, where you are now, so, and how you react to that message. So, uh, Cassie's life before, because because like same same thing with like Leon like. Like, the, the memories were there the whole time, just vague, fuzzy. Um, she grew up in a lot healthier and happier life. Um, she became a professional snail racer. Incredible. Um, she ended up, because of her promise that she made in a dream she decided to make a robotic knight named Aurora. Because she promised to Aurora that she would wake her, or wake them up. And that promise carried into this new reality where this Cassie, who doesn't fully remember, creates this robotic knight. Um, so, Cassie's living her best life. Um, oh and when... When she walks through that door and like the realities like fully converge, um, she brushes it off as nothing because she specifically asked for her memories to be more faded away. She's just like, oh, that's that's some weird dreams or whatever. Um, and she is out on the racetrack riding a snail when she all of a sudden gets this telepathic in her mind which almost makes her fall off of the snail she's riding on roll like it's enough check. to make her lose focus okay roll me, roll me dex let's okay. see how, let, let's see dex, if dex check, has... acrobatics or dex save oh you know what let's do acrobatics acrobatics just okay. spice it up we'll see if blatant yeah. has uh, been a detriment to your winning snurby uh 25 <laughs> Ooh. all right <laughs> all right yeah cassie it's a weird message that voice mm -hmm. rings true in your head, but you are able to remain in control. Okay. 
Yeah, so Cassie is very, like, off-put by this message, and it almost throws her off. She's assuming it's another one of the racers trying to trick her. Um, And I'm going to put in our group chat what Cassie looks like now, uh, and I'm going to describe for people what she looks like. Uh, if you will, please. So this version of Cassie has her full horns. They never got snapped or broken. Uh, instead of an undercut with long hair, she has a short, short medium length pixie that has dyed purplish pink ends. Um, she's a lot more confident. She doesn't wear like concealing clothes and whatnot. She's, she's a lot happier and like bolsterous now. Um, I love that. But for yes, her. <laughs> she, she's on her hot girl summer. She's hot having girl a hot summer. girl summer. Uh, if yeah. you, if for you the past look, 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to look around the arena that we actually are currently viewing Cassie in, if you were to sit in one of the stands, you would see fans wearing Cassie's colors. You would see posters up on walls of coming, come see the reigning champ. You would see a, a cacophony of posters and merchandise and fans that are there to support Cassie. It is not that Cassidy is a small racer. Cassidy is a champion racer. Mm. And they are very well known in these parts. As Cree and the rest of Cassidy's family is standing in the stands cheering Cassidy on. Aurora kind of waiting in the wings. Kind, kind, kind of waiting to see what, what they need to do for the day. But Aurora's the bodyguard. Keeps the fans Aurora's away. the bodyguard. Exactly. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a ridiculous thing to, to behold, but uh, amazing, amazing. Um, Cassie, once again, your uh, good friend, but also rival, Ruben, is on one of the other snails that seems to be gaining on you. Look <laughs> again. Oh. More importantly, I who's mean- riding Jelly Junior? The thing is, Ruben would be riding Jelly. Yeah, it would. <gasps> Jelly Jr. is still in the stable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Ivy just said I'm racing against my own character. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Cassie is my character, Ruben is also Ruben my is character. Also he lives in this world. But Two yeah. enter, yeah. one leaves. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's. So if Ruben is who I'm racing against, like some of the posters will say the seer versus the spear. Yep. Uh, and they have like pictures of Ruben and Cassie like facing each other. Uh, specifically with a tagline is, uh, he came out of retirement to face her. He's never won a match and she's the reigning champ. Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> Those are exactly what the posters say. Uh, but yeah, you get this message. You cross the finish line. Ruben uh, lo- loses to the surprise of no one, but it's still a good, a good match. It's still fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you do with this information that you've received of, of this very familiar voice giving you a place? Uh, I would shrug it off for the time being. Like, I would go about my daily life until I'm to a point where it's quieted down and I'm, like, not having to worry about putting on a show or anything. And then I would just ask my, probably my dad, not my mom, because my mom wouldn't really know. And I'd be like, hey, dad, what what's that? The, the more university. Uh, wizards, magic, things like that, I think. Okay, Why? Some, some wizard... Some wizard used a sending Some spell wizard. on me. <laughs> was he in a Telling me to go there. No, he just oh. said, go there. And that was it. Sounded familiar. Do you... I don't really know. Do you feel like you should go? I feel like I should at least, like, go look. Take Aurora with me in case, like, they need to punch someone, but... I was going to say, take, take Aurora and... Just keep us up to date when you come back. And we'll figure it out from there. But if you if you would like to go, um, go. You can take one of the snails. I'm sure your Uncle Cree will be fine with it. Okay. Sounds good. And then Cassie will boot up a snail with... Saddle, saddle up a snail. Oh, saddle up a snail. <laughs> um, saddle the snails. Um, <laughs> and 
like pack and get ready to head into more. Amazing. Okay. Let's jump to a very, very different character than we last left them. Petra. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, me? Who, oh. me? Uh, on the stream, I've taken away any pronouns as well as any name of this particular character because Tyrant walked to the door. It was no longer Tyrant. What did Tyrant turn into? And what are they up to? And how do they respond to a voice suddenly in their head? So, when Tyrant stepped through the door and there was a convergence of magic that realized wrong place, wrong time, they were shifted backwards when they were originally supposed to be born. When they were born to Arbitrice, no longer buried under a mountain, but in fact, with a veritable army of kobolds and her own followers, she decided that she wanted a scion to call their own. At which point she had, and I will change the name. I'll handle it on stream. Tells the yeah. tells the firstborn, delicious, a gem dragonborn, who started out when they were born looked very similar to how Tyrant did, as the Tyrant you knew, but as they grew and got larger, they looked less and less like a kobold, more and more like the dragonborn they were. They instead of going the direction of learning how to fight how to become a warrior using a sword, using runes. They instead learned from their mother countless magics, connecting to their aberrant bloodline that gave them the power they needed. Now, like any good Nepo baby, this wasn't enough. Yes. So they, Never of course, is. had to be perfect. So this tells a... a hasn't really had the memories until about kind of similar to late and those have started showing up very recently uh she spent the time basically being a problem she has she still has the crown but she's basically been going around picking fights trying to ba basically being a i don't want to say bad guy but like causing problems on purpose on the basis of literally just trying to find a good fight, trying to have some fun. And so when she gets this message, because the memories that they're attached to are... The only word that tells her would attach to them are cringe. Remembering yourself, <laughs> but the wrong version of yourself that's just this annoying little creature is... Ooh, yeah, there's some there's some feelings there. And so talk about my tyrant that way. Don't so, you dare. So Telza <laughs> buries them as much as she can, but when this call goes through, uh it's there's a noticeable wince wherever they are, and it's like they've been struck and they just Where would Telza be at this point? I think is I the think, question I have for you. Yeah, I think that um, Telza has found themselves with another very fun dragonborn bard, uh, having been very wild and very problematic the night before. It's probably early for you. Uh, maybe not early for the rest of the world, but it's early for you. And they are looking at you with a confused face. Um, just kind of like this is this is uh Rowan. This is a it, it, Dragonborn you're kind of familiar with already. Uh, blue scales, kind of up on one elbow, looking at you, a little confused, especially with that reaction. And immediately they think, "Oh shit!" Like I did that. Like they're cringing at me. Like <laughs> she does not correct the suspicion. 
<laughs> and <then> Sam <laughs> looks, like, looks at him, and at that realization that he's looking at her, she goes, "You should probably go." Oh, like, you're. I don't <sighs> go. Uh, fine. The door. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. As he throws the, the blanket off of himself, starts getting redressed, kind of looking at you as if, like, I almost half heartedly expecting you to be like, actually, like, never mind. Fully knowing this is not the case. And then he leaves. <laughs> and she's just no. going to sit there, like, on the windowsill, just, like, frustrated by this whole situation that ruined her fun. And for a physical description for what. How I posted a picture in our little Discord for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. This is a Dragonborn that was not happy with their kind of the typically agender pre physical presentation of a Dragonborn and got quite a bit of magical sculpting done. They look, they have a very, uh, what's the best way to describe this? Curvaceous figure? Yeah, it's I was just like, they have figure. <laughs> they've sculpted themselves to be hot, to be their idea of hot. Nice. Um, yeah. Just <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and I think they Looks. just kind of look out the window and go, Question, Ivy. Can yes, I Petra. reconnect that telepathic bond? Can I send I can here? I can not close it if you want. I'm happy to just have it be open. Okay. I can and later. Yeah, either way is fine. Yeah. Layton. Why? Who is this? Who speaks in my mind? Which one of them are you? It doesn't oh. sound like Tyrant. It doesn't sound like Tyrant. Not at all. Not even a little. <laughs> no, not even. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it does not. <laughs> you are not allowed here. I do not let you into the mind. In the other world, in the other realm. Which one uh. are you? Why do you listen in? You've gotten a lot less stable, eh? I used to sound like you. That's so dumb. Okay, um, so you're into more, right? Who is this that I am speaking to? I demand that you tell me now. I'm not gonna dead name myself. So on instead... that, I think I think Leighton is like, oh, it's Tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! Your Majesty, hello. I apologize. What 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 name would you be known under now? Tells How is your mother? Is everything good? Yeah, I mean, mom's a pain. That's why I'm not home. Um, how oh, quick do we got to be at Demore? Do I have to grab everybody else? Uh, I sent a message to everyone. They should all be coming soon. They should all be. We do not belong here. We do belong here. We created here. But there are things, there's things to learn and things to do in this realm. Leighton, have you slept? I don't know. What's, I don't know if I can anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get a couple things, and I'll come to Demore. Can you try to get some rest or something to make it sound like you haven't been snorting fairy dust the entire time? Yes. Hmm. Possibly a good idea. Uh, so I'm just checking. Okay. How long will it take you to get here? Not too long. Oh, yeah, it won't be too long at all. Do you know where the others are? No. No, none of them have contacted. None of them have reached out. I can sense that something is wrong. Because the people are different. Okay. I'll be on my way, but, like, try to not make a mess before I get there, because this is... You, you sound like a mess. You sound like you're going to make a mess, and I kind of don't like that. So, maybe... Try not to do that. Yes, very good. Okay, not a mess. I can do that. I can fix it. I can make it present. Very good. Okay. Okay. 
Soon. Do you want do you, do you want me to end the call? <laughs> I think that everyone Oh actually no, I believe it is a choice. I don't think everyone else can hear us. I think it yeah. is just us. Yeah. Okay. Um no. No, I can It's good to hear your voice, your real one. I think I've been missing it for many years. Yeah, well, I eat a lot less less cursed shit these days. Looking back, yes. like, That's literally, true. as she says that, she looks at the, at the door where the bard just left and said, less. And then... Less. <laughs> we'll cut off the call and try and start leaving. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Kelly? Yeah? Do you have questions, do you have questions for me? I'm so scared to ask them. I it's okay. Ask Please. Them more. No, no, no. You do. And that's okay. It's not okay. It is. It is uh, okay. Okay. Because I can just, it doesn't have to be a question. I can just ask for knowledge. You can ask for knowledge. You can ask a piece of advice. You can ask him for anything. <sighs> Uh, I'm so scared. Why is this making me so nervous? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, um, I feel like there's so much writing on it, and I'm afraid to ask the wrong questions. Um, there is no wrong question. I will tell you that right now. There is no wrong questions. Okay. The first question. Okay. Is I'm going to request that he tell me everything he knows about the events leading up to and the parties that took place in the beginning of the cataclysm oh interesting yes interesting 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 this is a good question Ooh. okay <laughs> now just make kelly watch the other uh campaign the other stream <laughs> the whole other game okay yeah um <laughs> But that, that game ended on a happy note. This one did not. So the ending is alternate. Okay. Lost will tell you mm -hmm. that it was a group of adventurers who went into Avernus that mm -hmm. tried to, at the ask of some other gods, stop the cataclysm from happening, to stop the opening of a portal to hell onto the material plane because Asmodeus got bored. He was bored and he wanted a new playground and this was that. And the gods okay. didn't want to basically fix it themselves because they were worried about uh, all that war between pantheons and between things they didn't want to subject the world to that. So they sent some of the skilled adventurers that worshipped <laughs> them to go handle it and failed. Okay. So nothing, nothing in this description alludes to him taking part in any of that at whatsoever. Not, not okay. at all. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. And so he said he was placed here mm -hmm. because he valued l love over duty. Correct. And like implying that there is a love that he was kind of fighting for. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Is it, is it, uh, hmm. <laughs> is it, is it, is it cheating if I put an and in the question <laughs> to kind of push two questions No, together? go ahead. Go Even ahead. Even though it's the same topic. It's the same topic. It's the same topic, okay. so go ahead. Yeah, you can say and. Okay. okay. I'll let you fudge a little. Who is this what is the identity of this love that you lost and had the cataclysm never happened where do you think she would be found or he, he or they he, so this this lost um will attempt to tell you oh. but they are unable to instead the name comes out as time 
that they are time. Time. They are time. They are the, they are known as time. He is known as lost, and their lover is known as time. Okay. And is not able to tell me where they think they would once be. They can't. They can't tell you where they would once be, but the look on their face tells you that they may not be living. Oh. Okay. Well, now I'm sad. Okay. I'm watching the wheels turn the rest of the party's face. This is excellent. (laughs) I'm just saying that not living is good because that means the skull can come in handy. Oh, gosh. (laughs) That means time is dead. Okay. Okay. Okay, You've got one more. I got one more? I'm going to give you one more. You push the other two together. Okay. So you've got one more. What do you want to ask? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, no. I didn't think... (laughs) I didn't think okay. I had one more. Um. Okay. Hmm. Because that's how his day was. <laughs> no, I ask him that all the time. How does that that he tells willingly? That he tells freely. Yes. <laughs> the answer is nothing changes. <laughs> he is lost, and that is how it is. Okay. And I guess he, he... See, but so much is redacted. I couldn't even ask him, like, who exactly put him here. Because he probably wouldn't be, even be able to say their name. Do you, um, do, you, do you ask him? Do you ask who put uh, him there? I will ask him... Yeah. Who... Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that makes it... Yes. Yes. Okay. You ask who put him there. I did. I'm. S- I'm sorry. What? I did. What do you? What do you mean? <laughs> I. I. I put myself here. Why would, why would you why would you do a thing like that? It was safer. Are you are you dangerous? <laughs> Not now. Oh. But Not now. You were? You love over what? duty. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I know. You told me that. <laughs> um, is it? Oh, hold on. So, are are you telling me like if if you weren't in these chains right here, that you'd just be like a rampaging, you know, uh, dangerous deity of some kind? Or many years have passed, and I am no longer that. Well, then why keep why keep yourself here then if you're no longer that? Why punish yourself for something that you were? Because the world has moved on. Yeah, it's very, it's very much moved on. Have you seen it out there lately? It's no, it's shame. Oh, I didn't tell. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Well, <laughs> uh, do you remember the the first? Do you remember the first time we met? Do you, do you remember when I came into the door the first time? Yes. You were very lost okay. and confused. I was, I'm still, listen, I'm still, I'm still pretty lost and confused. A little bit. <laughs> um, but, uh, shortly after that, we kind of, kind of rewrote some things. It's not the world that you left, I don't think. Good to know, I suppose. Would that make you keen to go see it, or no? I would consider it. What if I uh, could uh, bring time back 
Would you, would you come out then? Are you a necromancer? N no. Do you have the ability to raise the deceased? Uh, no. No. Do you have a wish what? spell? I, well, no. Okay, How about first of all, stop making me feel like I can't do anything. <laughs> all right. He's got a small <laughs> smirk this whole time. He he thinks it's funny. Um, it's not. Stop. It's not. It's funny. a little funny. It's a little it's funny. It's not that funny. All right. I'm just saying. I mean, I did get a, a a funny little voice in my head about two seconds ago from an old friend. So maybe there is a way I could bring somebody back. And then Finish. I think. Then you should go see And then them. I think about, did we discuss all of the items when we were together? Do we know what they do? Not everybody knows each other's, no. Not you don't know what Cassie's okay. does. Um, you just saw Cassie, Cassie pull a thread. You, you watched Cassie pull something out of Wayne's head, that was it. <laughs> yeah. You don't know okay. what, if, if Tyrant, quote unquote, got anything. So, do we know, Do but we know what... The skull does, and didn't Rowdy say what the sage did? Or no? I think. I thought Rowdy. I think did. you read. Yeah, yeah, Rowdy did. You read it aloud. Okay. Yeah, but well, you um, know, you actually, Millie, are having this conversation a little bit before uh, Layton sends that message, oh, because gosh. you have already <laughs> stated <laughs> you were, have already stated that you were going to open the door multiple times. So this conversation happens before that. Okay. Okay. All right. Just so you know. Okay. So I'm we'll just say... imagining this is 15 year old Millie having this conversation. Like, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, God, with curly blonde hair that looks like gold. Hello. You'd be you'd be pretty if you weren't so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> He's still pretty. All right. I keep so... I keep picturing him like the scene in Howl's Moving Castle when he's just melting in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's what okay. I'm envisioning. So I'm gonna describe this next scene, and then we're gonna go to break. That way, everybody uh -oh. can kind of come together uh, and more yeah. and see what that looks like. So, Kelly, you had decided that you would try to visit multiple times a week, right? Yeah, because you... I thought he was a friend. You go to open the door for the fourth time. Uh huh. You open the door like any other day, mimic that key turning in the lock and the door opens. And when you're so used to seeing this man, this friend of yours, this friendly individual, you open the door, the chains are on the ground and the void is empty. Oh. Ah. Because on the fourth ah. opening, he is freed. I didn't say that on my item description, IV. No, you didn't. You didn't write that down. I didn't. You didn't write that down. Nobody told me that shit. What? No, you you weren't told. No. You weren't supposed what? to be told. You made the decision. That's why I was like, interesting. We're freeing it, him it, already. It said it had three Wild. uses. It said it had it three it, uses. It didn't say it was like a genie. You were <laughs> just gone. I didn't say I released so, you, genie. Go. So, Millie, <laughs> you walk in to the void. Hmm. And it is empty. It is quiet. It is dark. There is no light anymore in this room. All you can see is the glint from the sun coming in from that door that you have opened, glinting off those chains. There is nobody in this in this void. It is empty. This prison cell, empty. Is there a note? Did he even leave nothing. a note? There is nothing here. Well, shit. He is out. He is gone. You have no idea where he is. So, Millie is hurt. <laughs> a, Millie is hurt because this has like been her one source of like oh something different. Um, it's at this point she's, you do get a voice in your head saying, "Hey, meet us in the more." Right. Wait, Layton. Layton. Yes, Millie, Millie, hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, I hear you there. Oh, good. Um, we must meet. Uh, yeah. We must meet. I think okay. I did, yeah, we should. I think I did something. I don't know. What, what is it? What is it you? Who did you tell? I didn't tell, I didn't tell, I didn't tell anyone. 
Well, technically, I did tell the mysterious deity that I've been befriended for, like, forever, and then he just left me high and dry with not a friend in sight, which is just amazing. He left? He left you? He left? He left. He's gone. He's gone. He's, He's gone, gone from the void. He has gone from the void? Oh, it did not say oh, that on my item card. It did not say, ooh, do this three times, and oh, your friend will leave you. You got a card? You got a card with the item? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's told you what it did. Millie, Millie wrote it down. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't, I don't know what mine does. I don't know what the skull is. <laughs> um. All mine says is I guess plus one intelligence. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> what does plus one intelligence even mean? <gasps> oh my God. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to head, I'll head right out. I'll head right out. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Did you catch their, their name? Their name? Did you catch their name before they left? He, he didn't tell. I didn't. Well, you know, actually, I didn't get his name. He just kept calling himself Lost. But he did say that um, the the love that he, you know, he he decided to forsake his duty for love, and uh, that that love's name was Time. I don't. I'm sure that's not exactly their name. Plus time, plus time, plus but time. I don't know if there's a deity exactly that has to specifically do with time. Uh, lost or... time? Does that is that ringing any bells in the multiple timelines? Nope. Nope. There's gotta be some. There's gotta be something. There must be something. There must be something. How long will it take you to get here? I don't know. Oh, Ivy, days. how long will it take <laughs> you? <laughs> God says couple days. He'll be fine. <laughs> couple days. Okay, fine. A couple days. Couple days. Couple days. I can do a couple days. Okay. Okay. Very good. Have you heard you from the okay? others? Are you okay? You sound a little different. Have you eaten? Time doesn't exist anymore. We are the That's... weavers of all fate. Gods are dead where they should live and are living where they are dead because of the actions that we have caused. We are the rulers of fate and have okay. broken all things and I'm gonna... will break all more. Yes, I know. I'm I'm gonna try to make it there in a day and a half. We're gonna try to shave that down, all right. I will Okay. 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 Are you okay, okay? Bye, love you. Have you been using the bathroom? Oh <laughs> Bye, love you. Okay. Bye, love Great. you. I just picture bye, 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 bye. Layton with multiple pee bottles He's around like, well, this. Layton is also having the conversation with, with Tells at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and so it's like, is, is mind is in one timeline, other part of their mind in the other, and then two in two separate conversations. Um, oh whilst also trying to figure out things about gods. Oh my god. I'm fine. Excellent. Okay. okay. I can yeah. go to the library. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, I go. hey, I'm, I'm going to ask. Hey, Rowan, mm. how are you handling receiving this call from Layton? And then we'll go to the break after you answer me. <laughs> I psychically snap the connection and then using the sending spell through the name in my book, shunt angelic energy into the voice that is Layton. And if you speak celestial, you'll understand. And if you don't, it will just deepen your madness. Oh no. Um yeah. No, perfect. Uh you do have a spell, it, right? Don't it, you understand everything? Or no? I have gone bad languages, it's just not live at the minute. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> uh Layton falls deeper into uh into the hell that is their mind but knows for a fact that it's round and it's like good i'll take that as a rsvp yes coming <laughs> very good okay <laughs> oh, good. excellent um, cassidy didn't respond no nope. cassidy didn't respond for the next week i cast dream every night and go into Cassidy's dreams. Uh, oh there my is gosh. Like the, the Cassidy, every night you dream of the apocalypse, but 
uh, <gasps> Why would you the do center this of it is the beast You're traumatizing of, <laughs> It's like the beast of infinite intellect that Leighton gave their soul to, as that is who Leighton thinks that they are. Um, they believe that they're the beast of all knowledge, and eventually I'm just going to keep re being reborn in different timelines until I am the beast with infinite knowledge. Um, so you see that at, with, like, this, like, you can't look at it every time you do. It's like your eyes purposely look away, even if your whole body turns. Um, eventually, it, like, begins to hurt. If you, The more you turn your face to look at it, the more your eyes force themselves back inside of your head. And uh, <laughs> the words are, like, imprinted into your mind of the university and meet me uh, over and over and over and over again. This Everything. this is the entire reason why Cassie's even going to Demor. Like she probably actually didn't even plan to go, but then she keeps getting these nightmares saying to go there. Go there, yeah. And she's just like, I want this to end. Good, 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 good. And then Leighton will leave their wing and go to the library of the university, seen for the first time in like fifteen years. And that's that's what that's that's Leighton. That's what Layton does over the next few days. I just love Cassie's it. Yeah, that's Layton. Cassie's traumatized that you're going, but you're going now. But I'm All going right. because I'm traumatized. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go out of this trauma. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. Good. We'll take a break. We're gonna take a 10, 15 minute break. And then when we come back, we'll see how everybody reacts to meeting each other. Rather than. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw up. I'm so excited for Rowden. Okay. I'm going right. to throw up. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> We're back! Hello, everyone! Welcome back! Hello, hello, hello! We just watched Millie release a god into the world. We don't know what that does yet. It'll be great! <laughs> Kelly is And Lane okay. gave me nightmares. Ke Kelly, if you just want to, like, <laughs> tell JD off for it, he is in chat. It's fine. <laughs> you. Where can I find you? <laughs> It'll be at Gen Con, don't worry. JD, okay. you're a lovely individual. It's the orphan <laughs> <laughs> Where can I find? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, before we went to break, uh, and before Millie released a god onto the world, um, we excited. were meeting. We were meeting how our characters have changed and how they've grown and how some of them have deteriorated and fallen as a descent into madness. Uh, there's two of them. We'll figure that out later. Um, amazing. <laughs> I am going to say, Petra, I think that you, <laughs> I, I think that uh, you would have gotten there first for Leighton. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I am kind you're, of you're moving kind of You're moving kind of quicker than the rest of the party, and you told Leighton a certain amount of time, but no, it'll be same day. So, I'm imagining <laughs> that, like, there is a safe way to do this when mm -hmm, one is mm -hmm. say flying a draconic spirit to a university of wizards there's a safe way to do that where you like make yeah, sure they know you're coming and everything so they don't panic um that is not what tells it does <laughs> it is instead just like make it a beeline for wherever the like actually she didn't know the university so she's going straight for the university uh, and will only dismiss as she's actually there. Amazing. Yeah, you look below you as you are quickly happening upon Demor, as in this this <laughs> this city, this arcane city, this arcane school. And there is a small amount of panic from wizards below in a courtyard that you can see. The robes that they're wearing, different colors, different uh, status across the board. As they look up to this creature at first believing that this is an attack how do you land straight in the courtyard what is the how, how does tesla land and make their presence known to the rest of this organization so i imagine the dragon comes down and as it does it looks like it's gonna do like a pass of a breath weapon but instead it just 
right as it would hit the ground, it start it basically starts dissipating at that point, and tells will just kind of let skip onto the ground. It's gonna burst their hands. Hey, uh, forbidden wing. They point. I, I have this picture of when you're flying toward there is some like young upstart student that thinks they're being attacked and then goes to cast a spell and then it's and then it is randomly counterspelled out of nowhere and it's because <laughs> Leighton has left the the forbidden wing for the first time in 15 years and it's like okay i fully want them to meet on a mountain top and i feel like they should i feel like us two have the rights to do that you do yes. you do yo this this little this little freshman that you just like counterspelled their magic has been the biggest pain across every single class thinking that they are a top student across the board they already have issue with Layton, and then you counterspell them as they go to fire off probably just magic missile like that's all it is it's just something <laughs> small and insignificant that that even tesla is like this is stupid but Layton takes care of it and that is the meeting that you have as this freshman little scurries off as soon as you make your presence known. Leighton rapidly barks at them as they run the nest. <laughs> and an owl barking is a weird sight. That's a weird, <laughs> weird, <laughs> weird sight. Tells um, will... Oh, sorry. No, please, you go. You go. Tells will, like, kind of slowly saunter up as he's doing that to students and just kind of lean in and go, You look... Like what I thought you would look. Staff um, gets put on the ground, kneeling immediately. Your Majesty, thank you so much for gracing me with your presence and so quickly too. So much has happened since in, since we last saw each other. Clearly, your body is different. She's yeah. gone through some changes. I'm glad that the conversation that we had took effect 25 yeah. in the, so in the I think we had a conversation about changes. Puberty. Yeah. 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 None, yeah. Well. none of the other wizards around are handling any of this well when you drop to a knee. Um, I've rolled for them. They are going to quietly just kind of stepping away and they're leaving. None of them uh, are taking this well. Telza will actually lower herself to her own, like to one of her own knees and go, um, yeah. I mean, I'm older than I was when we first knew each other. It's weird. Yes! It's... You are, and so am I. Which is interesting because I've actually de-aged by 15 years. However, yeah. both of us, collectively, have lived an additional 25 years. What does this make us, Tesla? Better? Gods. Like... We lived in other realms. The only other things that do this are things beyond creation itself. I have something to show you. Come. Okay. And <laughs> walks off uh, with with the with their staff. Um, goes... Tells is just gonna have their head on your shoulder the entire yeah. time, just like yeah. Okay. Um, people haven't seen Leighton for actual years, and a lot of people think Leighton is a myth. So this is very weird walking through this school. Oh, there's um, so many strange God, looks. There's so actually, many. It's actually real. Yeah. I thought it was a story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I absolutely was going to go like, she it got even taller. But like in a creepy professor way. <laughs> I, <laughs> ab <laughs> are you I like... absolutely was going to go graffiti those walls later. I don't... Shit. Are you like <laughs> a prisoner here? Or like a teacher? Are or you like a, a prisoner? <laughs> no, no. No. They thought me mad, <laughs> but they just didn't understand the genius of ones that have lived other lives before. They... they but like I mean, like, grabs Tesla and like, pulls them into a corner. Okay, headmistress <sighs> Evangeline, the one essential on this mission in the first place. She exists in this realm too, but this time is the one that watches over me. I'm worried about this. She's the only wizard in this whole university who matches and exceeds my power. I'm scared hey. of that. Yeah, no, I uh, I get that. Have you eaten or slept since we talked? We're all asking you. <laughs> <laughs> we only talked like earlier today, right? Yeah. No time. No time. No time. No time. No, no Work no. needs to be done. Things need to be learned. Layton. Too much is happening. Layton. We'll have time. 
I got here before everybody else did. You can get a meal. We can get a meal. And then we can sit down and talk about things. Yeah? Okay. Yes. But what, what is it what is it that you'd like to eat? What is it what is your what is your diet like in this new realm? I eat a little bit of everything. I don't know. I like last You time... child! Child, look at me! That's <laughs> Get us one of everything! Bring it to the forbidden wing! Uh, Do not step further foot inside! Leave it out the door and knock three times! If you look four, I will kill you immediately, child! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Who you've yelled at is a very small individual, a little androgynous being who was being, I, I will say, they were being far too curious about the situation. So, like, when you yell at them, they, one, seem very much perceived, and two, they jump. They instantly go pale. You shout at them to deliver these goods, and they scurry. They are not risking this. This this, this could be their one chance to get a decent grade from you um, in the future, and so they are fast. They kind of do a weird <laughs> salute that they weren't, they're like, I don't even know what that was, and they run. <laughs> Okay. Leighton gets as soon as they salute, Leighton gets very straight and then salutes back in a very proper way. Um, oh, okay. Come, come uh, with me. I have one thing, one thing to show you. Yeah, I cannot um, show the others. The others will not understand, but you will. Um, goes through the Forbidden Library. Uh, go, goes to like their their wing. It's like sure. it's it's less. It's not destitute. It's very lived in and like, but it is like. Leighton has lived here for the past, like, years, and no one has, has like, entered or left. Um, Leighton There's... feeds themselves with food that they conjure, uh, so it has, like, had no contact with anyone else. So it's just, um, like, owl pellets places? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> pretty grim. It's, like, gross. Okay. And owl, owl pellets is, yeah. are hideous. <laughs> Rough. Sure is. Yes. Um... <laughs> Actually, I feel like Leighton could probably send them into an extra dimensional space and probably does do that. That's probably uh, what you do. But yeah. it's still like has, have, it's, it's still like ink. You have a it, pocket like plane for poop, is what you're saying. Yeah, a pocket it poop. Uses poop. them as material components get, uh, for spells. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely <laughs> does do that. That will be coming back later. Thank you so much for saying. That. Um, Telsa is not horrified by any of this behavior outwardly. Like there is just entertaining. <laughs> like she's just fully entertained. <laughs> <laughs> um goes goes into their library and the like there's it's like a normal hall even though it's like the forbidden wing it is it's a university it looks like there's ceilings it's like it looks yeah. like this was once used i feel like the library's the library doesn't it, it, it's it's weird. You like look up and it's kind of like endless bookcases, but then also there are bookshelves and everything is weird. It feels like it own interdimensional space in itself. It's not. It is just like um, a very weird kind uh, of an ecliptic spot. kind of yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Layton walks up the wall, uh, nonchalantly stops, turns around. Uh, you are both like angled forty five degrees. Ah, the walls are quite safe. Um, I, I will I will allow them for you. Knocks twice, and uh, and there's this like shimmer of magic. Uh, uh, you you can now step on if you tried to do it before. It would just act like a normal wall, but you can walk up now. Come come come. Okay, I mean yeah, and tells it following is like you know like I I can use magic better now too. <gasps> you can oh, use magic now. Did you know you were not able to use magic before? No, you were. You would use magic through the weaponry that you have. Can you still do that, or is it just magic through you? Is it like magic like mine? No, I... Okay, so, like, Mom wanted me to do the whole warrior thing, and... Cause, like, <gasps> Mother, really how home... is she? Uh, what? Is she still oh. under the mountain? No. Well, oh. sometimes. Oh. Her choice this time. She comes and goes. I, I don't know. I, I don't live at okay. home anymore. Oh, very good. Well, if you ever do go back, send her my love. Um, why don't you? Why aren't you at home anymore? What happened? It was boring. Like ah. all it was was look after the kobolds, make sure that our holdings are protected. I just, you know, mm -hmm. I wanted to get out of there. I wanted to do my own thing. So, like, I did that. 
and now I'm here, and I'm, it, it's fun, it's good. Yes. But yeah, I'm doing more of the magic thing now. Yes. Uh, oh, good, good. Knowledge should not be kept inside of walls. The knowledge, knowledge, especially those of 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 royalty, should should be built by going across and seeing the land for itself. This is good. This is good. Okay. Uh, walks on the ceiling. Walks over to this uh, to this once again like covered uh, machine. Um, wraps it around their claw their like talons and 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 takes off this tarp and there is there's this the the machine that looks like a king in his throne um it's all like brass and copper steam and like ink and oil it's not like great to look at but but it 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 is something that like is just built through pure madness and the face of this king is replaced with the skull that uh, not replaced because it was never there to first, but built around the skull. Um, do you know what this is? I remember that you had the skull. Uh... Yeah. But more, but more. I have to. I, I, I built this for many years and I knew it makes sense to me. It's 25 years I lived here and 25 years I lived in another realm and I, and I realized again, we are older. We are all older by 25 years. We had an extra um, quarter of a. Of a Quarter of a hundred years. What is that name? <laughs> Quarter of a century. Quarter of a century. Added on to us. Um, and then I had an additional 15 years and I, I thought and I figured, we are but on to gods. We have traveled through realms and changed histories in itself. So this is much more than a skull. Telsa, this is my phylactery. This is the thing that will make me become who I was meant to be. This is the realm devourer itself. This is who I will become. Okay. Um, so, uh, some of my dating choices are starting to make a little bit more sense. Um, okay. <laughs> so, love that for you. That's not like why you're getting everybody together, though, is it? Like this isn't no. a we're not doing a murder suicide thing, are we? No, Please. no, oh my God. no, not this time, not this okay. time. Maybe another <gasps> one that'll be the answer. But this one, no. This one, I, I will explain more and greater when everyone else arrives. But we will be using the skull. I am showing people this because this is an interesting thing. We have all lived the many years and have information that we shouldn't have. Therefore, we should gather now that we're all of our own sound mind, and we should discuss the future and what our next steps are, what it creates. If we are to leave now or if we are to... <sighs> I'll explain more. The phylactery, that's just you. Only you are allowed to know because once you rule over this land, you must know the dangers that this land possess. And unfortunately, when that time comes, one of those dangers will be me. And only you should be privy to that knowledge. I will stand by your side if you require it. I will do anything that your majesty demands <clears throat> of me therefore you should know the powers that i wield and will wield eventually everyone else they shan't know this they shouldn't know this but i will explain more of why i brought everyone here soon yeah definitely keep this bit yeah um you remember this right and she taps the crown that she's still wearing that now fits her head just a little bit better than it did mm. back in the uh, pocket, the other dimension. Yes, 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 I do. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I've I've held on to it. I I know what it does, but it seemed easy. So, I mean, if it helps this, could always. <sighs> Perhaps yes. Do you not have a crown? Your Majesty should have a crown. Royalty should have crowns. They should yeah. have jewels. This is works. that yours? Is that one of the? Does your mother have a crown, or is it more a crown like dragonborns have crowns, like lizards have crowns on their heads? Oh my! Oh, we'll go with yes. Oh my. Okay, fascinating. It's a good answer. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Um. <laughs> there's a there's like a distant knock. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I was just literally about to say there's a, like jumps a, off a... of the ceiling and then like spreads wings and then is able to float down to the ground. And it, it is the most the rapid yet timid knock of like, 
light knocks, but super rapid, and then you can hear the scurry of footsteps on the on the flooring as this little student who you scared is rushing away. Um, Blanc flings open the door, and, like the slam of the door of the door handle hitting the the brick is like reverberates down. Um, can I still see them? You can see them rushing down the hallway. Sick. I'm going to cast Telekinesis, and I'm going to send a page. Just, like, because I can write a spell. Um, sure. And it is a spell slot higher than whatever <laughs> I write it in. Um, and I okay. am going to give this random child a spell slot, a, a sixth level true seeing. Um, <laughs> as I use Telekinesis, and I fling it at them. This is for you, child! Thank you for the food! <laughs> Grabs it, slams the door. I can't Ooh. wait when it's revealed that this is not a random child. I just need to make a note. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you that. Use it, use it as you oh, see fit. I had already started using it, but now it got so much better. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Great. Like, okay. All the food. It's terrifying. <laughs> all right. Absolutely Lost my mind. Terrifying. My mind. I've I, lived three lives. It finally kicked in for me what Leighton is reminding me of, and I'm going to post it in the Discord. But okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So between, is there any other conversation you want to have now, or are you ready for our next guest to join you in this? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Millie, you're next. All right. I try how, after how do you after hearing how Leighton, like just just like on a horse with Stee and Ven galloping along beside. Me, yeah, of course. I try. I tried to pick the fastest horse we had because Leighton didn't sound good. Felt time was of the essence. Yeah. So I tried yeah. to trim as much off from that two days as I could. Great. Yeah, you're able. You make it about. A day and a half. A day. A, okay. You were able to trim some of that time away. Uh, how do you yeah. ride into this space? Um, I I just arrive up to to the front door. <laughs> okay. Do they do they have do they have a receptionist? Uh, you could find door? one. You could absolutely find one. Um, there's plenty of wizards mewling about outside. Some of them practicing spells. Some of them having outdoor classes. Some of them just. Yeah, basically crazy. outdoors um oh, right. but yeah if you were to go to the, like a front desk you could definitely find like a visitor's uh desk if that's what you're looking I need for to, do i need to wear a badge or, um, <laughs> you I'm, I'm, visiting, I'm not here <clears throat> yeah you i, I, I put the horse was... outside yes okay great yes, yes. where's steven ben I'm, um they're coming with me okay so you yeah, wander they're coming into, into the, the visitor's you know, desk with these two large bears and yourself. Uh, behind yes. the desk is a little tiefling girl uh, who, maybe 18, 19, she looks up. Oh, hello. Uh, what can I do for you? Looking past you at the bears and then back to you. This is not the weirdest thing she's seen, but you are new. And so she's like, it's is magic, this a magic student? School. Like, what is... <laughs> sure. So, what can, what can I what can I do for you? Um, he hello. I hope you're having a nice day. Um, I've I've been invited here uh, by by a friend of mine. Uh, I get I guess I, he didn't really say whether he was a professor here. Uh, my my friend Layton. I'm sorry. Did uh, you say that Layton is a a friend? Yes, yes. We've been through a lot together. Definitely a friend. Why and, and he, uh, uh, he invited <laughs> you. Yes, he called me. Okay. Are we okay? Is he okay? Is he okay? He sounded a little weird on the phone. Oh, Between you a and little, I. A little, a How's little he weird. Doing? Yeah. How's he doing? I, I wouldn't okay. know. We don't see him very often. She it is oh. that I'm trying to remain in my customer service voice, but also, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the vibe that you're getting, the energy off okay. of this young woman who's like, maybe this is like her part-time job. She does this as well. She is also a student here. She is confused. Okay, well, what you're going to do is you're going to go out those doors. You're going to go okay. and swing a left. All right. Then you're going Lift. to 
then you're going to go mm-hmm. down the hall, uh, up the stairs, and then Upstairs. you're going to go all the way to the Forbidden Wing where none of us will go. Forbidden? Uh, forbidden? Yeah, there's a bunch of, fr- yeah, Wait, a bunch of graffiti. You'll, it's not hard to find. You'll see it when you're walking. Hold on. Hold, hold on. <laughs> Wait. Forbidden? Is that what you said? Is yeah, it, he doesn't like does? us going in that wing. Why not? Why? Not, why? Just, oh my god, has he been mean? I'm sorry, didn't you say that this is your friend? Yeah, but I listen, he has his flaws. So I'm just wondering. Yeah, he is my friend. He's my friend. I'm just wondering why he won't let anyone down there. Hey, you should um, you should um go and I'm sure that once you hit he, the graffiti Hold on. Did he set traps? You gotta tell me if he set traps. I need to know to look for them on the way. Uh in the main hall before you knock on the door. I don't think so. Uh, but when you hit the graffiti and you hear like the little okay. spooky ghost things, whatever that yes. is, you'll know you found yes. the right place. Okay. All right. Do you know if he's eaten? Does he eat? I don't know anything about this man. I'm going to be honest with you. I promise. Whatever. <laughs> he is, I'm, you know what? I'm going go to I'm gonna go talk to him. They are and, an owl and-, and that is all I know. And that's where they are. Best All of right. luck. If they are deceased, please let me know, and I'll report it to the administrator. Uh, well, I don't Thank think... You. He, just call, he just called. He just called, like, a couple days ago. She just shrugs. <laughs> well, now I'm nervous. Thanks a well, lot. <laughs> it turns around, starts running, thinking Leighton is deceased in a forbidden <laughs> library somewhere. <laughs> you take off running, and Steve and Ben keep up with you. One of the students and it looks like they've already tied off the horse. Like, oh, this is this is pretty common, so don't worry about the horse. Uh, and you take off running towards this forbidden wing, and you hit graffiti. You hit all of these weird markings all over the walls, ceiling to floor. It was, looks as if it was something out of a horror movie. Like oh. you've wandered into the Ron hallway. It is Great. dimly lit. How nice. Lay in. I love what you've done with the place. Lighten. And then you see a large door closed currently, <laughs> because of course it is. <laughs> oh gosh, did he tell me how many times to knock? I don't know. Was it? Was that specified? I don't know. Layton, it's me! It's Millie! Don't hurt me! <laughs> <laughs> can, can Elsa open the door? Can we hear that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've been together for a couple of days now. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. <laughs> All I'm imagining is that finally put grandpa down to like sleep get some rest and then just like that happens it's like (laughs) open so a dragonborn you've never seen just opens up the door oh hi hello millie millie blunderbuck nice to meet you i'm looking for my friend layton is he home yeah yeah He's, uh, Wait he's, a second. He's Hold on. Seen. And she takes a second look. And she sees that crown on your head. Wait. No. If, uh, <laughs> no. If you no. Really go in and see him. No. Are what? you serious? Are you shitting me right now? What? You know, you know what? You, you know? Go inside and see Layton. All right. We are not Please. done here, though. We are coming back to this. Okay. <laughs> mm. oh. Pushes past you. Mm-mm-mm-mm. It's weirder to look at you. You look like you haven't changed at all. Yeah, that's part <laughs> of the problem. I'm just like closing the door. I think before we get to that conversation, I'm going to get everybody else there. Okay. <laughs> What's I will strange... Say... Oh, oh go ahead, Petra. I mean, I w- you off. Go ahead. All, all I was going to say is, the moment Millie looks away, Telza is petting Stia and Ven, like, immediately. Okay. Um, but, Good. yeah. That's, that's, that, baby, that's an important note. Um, what's mm-hmm. strange baby, is... Rowden, I think, was actually closer than Cassidy because Cassidy got nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Cassidy also technically lives on the opposite side of the world map. Correct. You are way far. So, Rowden, yeah. you're actually 
next? Actually, I am depending going on to what you're going to do. Ambush for Kathy. That's exactly what I expected. Okay, great. I love that. Uh, We're using like, ambush. Just far enough from the uh, the uh, door uh, that um, mm -hmm. you can't hear a scream for help, but not so close, like not so far away <laughs> that you couldn't run there for help. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I am going to. Uh, uh, use, <laughs> I, I'm going to use a, a combination of like uh, divination and commune yeah. to discern the path that Cassidy is on, and then I'm going okay. to lay out some snail bait. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tanner, I, I hope you're ready Except for this. It's not. It's not the kind of snail bait you're probably thinking of because that's poisonous. So this this is just food for for snails. You're like, no, it's not salt. I swear. It's not salt. <laughs> I, 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 right. I've seen the future. It is not salt. All right, Cassie, you ready? So, <laughs> Cassie would be leaving home. Yep, yep. She would have cast divination. Mm -hmm. uh, Cassie asking... is not quite a ranger anymore. Not not quite an artificer in the same way anymore. Yep. Mm. Um. Can you bypass non-detection? Well, the thing is, the divination is I'm asking a question. Mm. Uh, and my question is, will I be safe? And who are we asking? Uh, Nexus. <sighs> I'm asking Nexus if I'm going to be safe going to Demore. <laughs> She'll tell you to be careful. Okay. And I can do that daily, so... I know you can. She'll tell you to be careful. Yeah, and that that's what Cassie would have done, like, when she was planning to leave. Yep. So... Yep, she'll tell you So Cassie's careful. on edge as she's <laughs> going here, and, like, nothing has happened over the few days. So she's like, okay, something has to happen today. Because yep. it's the day she's arriving into more. Exactly. Okay. Rather, you, which traps have you set up, and how would we like this to play out? Because you are setting them up in <laughs> such a way that oh, you're you, you can scream for help, but no one will hear you, but you can run. Precisely. Uh, there, there will be um, what I remember from uh, or like the weird from, and like as we're getting closer to this day, and as we get physically closer to each other. Mm -hmm. more and more memories are starting to like flood back and it's just like whispers and like not quite you're not quite sure of what it is and i just see lots of butter lettuce like a farm full of butter lettuce and, yeah. and all sorts of tasty mm. snail treats so i've got these things and i've like put them out in in little bundles along the road um hoping to like attract the attention of a snail meanwhile i am casting uh, like message and sending in various directions, just hoping to connect with Cassidy's mind because I'm not entirely sure where they are, just that they're supposed to be here soon. Soon, for sure. Okay. Eventually, Cassidy, you come into range. Rather, what is the message that you send, Cassidy? Do you speak celestial? I do not. Okay. I speak and several other languages, but not celestial. <laughs> Then He's all you hear is. Casting. Oh no. Definitely helping that fear. <laughs> yeah. Cassie, yeah. already on edge, having those nightmares. You get a message back that just says, fuck off. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Cassie doesn't know who's sending this. She's just that direction <laughs> Cassie is that bitch <laughs> uh, I'd like to lay in wait in the canopy of a tree of like several trees overlapping I'd like road. to lay in wait <laughs> uh, I'd like to cast pass without trace on myself oh my gosh this is yes. incredible this is my favorite this is okay. incredible this is right. pvp but like okay. stealth version. <laughs> okay, Sam, I want you to roll perception. 
secretly and then send it to me privately. Tanner, I want you to do the same with your stealth and send it to me privately. While this is going on. Okay. Okay. This is my favorite part of this game. This is excellent. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good shit. Oh my god. My heart's oh pounding my right now. Oh gosh. Hold okay, okay, alright. Oh what happened? Tell me they tied. No, not <laughs> quite. Not quite. Rather than you don't see Cassidy at all. Cassidy, you are keeping such a close eye. You are on such edge that you are hyper vigilant and you start passing through these and then you start seeing these little bundles of lettuce and you know that your steed loves lettuce and it's taking a little bit for you to keep them on point and on trail but nothing yet with a a 31 to a 29 Whoa! Oh. Cassidy <laughs> passes through. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. So I was like, <laughs> "Whoa!" There's some pass well trace is the only way I could beat Rowden's perception. Like mm -hmm. that's mad, and it's less than it used to be. <laughs> my my stealth is less than it used to be. Is the issue because I used to have scary. expertise in stealth. Now I'm not proficient at all. 29 to 31 and Cassidy you begin to pass through Rylan you are not seeing Cassidy there is silence around you you don't hear the munching of lettuce you don't hear maybe even conversation with their steed nothing I open my book no. and I turn the page okay to where Layton's name is <gasps> okay and as I push my hand across it, igniting the arcane sigils that are that make it up, I speak Leighton's true name, which maybe even Leighton doesn't know. Mm -hmm. And in common, I summon you here now. Okay, okay. And Did Go on. There you go. And you would feel uh, you would feel compelled to um, get here at all with all pace, with all all haste, all haste, um, quick as you can, quick as you like. You get uh, the yeah the picture very clearly in your mind where it is. If you could teleport, tells... you wouldn't even need a check. Uh, tells her and Millie. <laughs> Uh, hanging, hanging around the house, uh, this like forbidden wing wizard tower, fucking weird library. All of a sudden, Leighton wakes up with a start. Papers like fly everywhere as they really quickly and suddenly get up. Um, the radiation calls to me. I must go. I must. What? What? Hey, Leighton, uh, uh... where? Radiation. Nearby, in the really? university. Uh, and I am going to cast... Let me see. Let me see if I got it. I, mu I simply must have a fucking teleportation spell. That would be crazy if I didn't. I would be surprised um, if, if you don't. If you don't currently have it on your spell list, you have kind of slept since then so it's like a little like if you need to change it out there's some leeway have, like all right yeah. all right i'll add, i'll 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 chuck on a what's up oh just tell us i while, have and while, what, uh, spell, what, what spell slot are you using fifth cool uh i will use fear spell a, <laughs> i will use a fifth level counter spell on that if i can see you casting it Oh snap! Oh wow! PvP okay, everywhere, sure. um, everywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, in, I mean, teleportation circle takes like a while to do, right? So actually, yeah. that wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Teleportation circle just, wouldn't just work. Just wipe your foot across. <laughs> just, just sweep the leg. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do some form of fucking teleport thing that I will find later and That's add later. Fine. Um. 
Uh, Your Majesty, the radiation calls. I must go. Come with me if you Why? must. Okay, we can go together. Okay, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay. right. Ah, Millie, you arrived. Oh, yes, God. I've been here for the past ask. 10 minutes. And you just... Okay. I've been, you... I've been fully, like, conked out asleep. Like, oh, yeah. Standing there waiting for you to wake up. Blankets, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll get us a ride. Okay, very good. Yes, yeah, sure. Hurry, 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 hurry. I would like to say during these interactions, like, every time, like, Telza talks, I'm giving this, not, like, this unkind side eye, but just this very curious, like, who is this person? I know, technically, I know this person, but I don't know this person. But at you the don't same know this time. person. I don't yeah. know this person. And Telza is very much partially aware of that and is doing the do not perceive me. You don't remember me. It's fine. Um, <laughs> don't worry yeah. about it. Don't yeah, worry no, about no, it. No, no, don't worry about it. Um, and she's going to go over to a window and I'm going to summon Draconic Spirit. Okay. So there is suddenly a uh, an Man, this university rules now. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's it got really metal really quick. Just this uh, translucent amethyst dragon just outside. Uh. Or I would say amethyst worm just outside yeah. of the uh, of the window. Uh, okay. Leighton gets on it like absolutely no question. Uh, and then like gives, I know where it is, right? Yeah. 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 So I like give directions. I like say... Okay. Where, the uh, three of you atop I tie this. Steve and Ben. <laughs> Steve and Ben are living. They think this is the best trip. Yeah. Um, no! They're so excited. <laughs> um, you don't. Okay, here's the thing with Steve and Ben. You don't know if they have memories of the last 25 years. You're not sure. However, they definitely seem to remember how to ride on a dragon. They have they think no this qualms. Is they think this is they are, excellent. They are a deity that has been split. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Now they're just so powerful. you ride atop this draconic summon, this beautiful, and you can look down and see a couple of wizards once again very confused. They have no idea what is happening with this counter weird spell. wizard. Yeah, there's this weird <laughs> wizard that just lives up in this tower. They're just counterspelling them for fun. They don't well, know no, what's I going on. One of them is doing something. Well, they try stop. to, and you, it's like stop. Their hands stop. immediately go off. They're like, oh, it's latent. <laughs> like. Oh, it's the professor, like, we don't touch that. Never mind. And you go very quickly. My God, I forgot that my fucking name is Professor Layton. Yes. Damn it. Yes, it is. And you then missed you missed an opportunity fly. by not having a small kid. Sorry. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was I the have kid one. that Layton knew. The kid earlier, yeah. Sorry. You fly very quickly to this location that Rowan has put into your mind and compelled you to join at. Rather than you can see a very large amethyst draconic summon making its way quickly towards you and where you are hiding. You still don't see Cassidy. Cassidy, you also see this coming from the distance. I'm seeing well, this Cassidy coming. remains hidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was say, you are good. Rather? Seeing this magnificent creature coming. Um... Uh-huh. Rowden is going to uh, lay on the ground and mm -hmm. cast Pain Death. Okay. Okay. You cast Pain Death. Great. Okay. Rowden really took a uh, Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss to Girl heart. Boss? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, sure. did. That's yeah, you did. That's the approach. Ooh. All right. And Leighton, you look down and you see something laying on the ground it is that spot you have been compelled to this spot this location something's laying there on the ground in the middle of this area your majesty we must land the dragon yeah the dragon here i'm onto it i'm onto it uh millie can you yeah it, it's Tells fine. Just hold on for a sec mm -hmm. we can both just hold on to me and okay. the dragon's gonna like lower <laughs> but again as it reaches the surface it Taking advantage of the fact that Leighton can fly a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. And Telza's experience with this, the dragon fades and, like, Telza can just, like, 
land, but it's probably Millie on them as that's happening. It just... Okay. Uh, what's with the dead old guy? Uh, do do we is he face down? It's it's clearly Rowden, right? Yeah. Oh, right? it's clearly Rowden. Cassie, uh, you're hiding Rowden. still. Are you continuing oh. to hide when you hear this call of Rowden's name? Well, uh, I was with, just he's with the DM glow you. giver now. Uh, I was yeah. going to ask if Cassie could remain hidden about mm -hmm. ninety feet away. Yeah, absolutely. You took uh, Aurora with you, correct? Yes. Is Aurora in battle mode, or is Aurora just Aurora? Uh, Aurora would be in battle mode. Okay. Uh, but, like, on defense mode. <laughs> sure. Not attack. Okay, good to know. All right, you are hidden 90 feet away. You hear them call, and the rest of you freak out at seeing Rylan laying in the dark. Rowdy! No! no Rowdy, this is not Rowdy. Get it. Get this isn't this is some horse shit. Get up, Rowdy, Rowdy, get. So I can't up. hear you. I'm incapacitated. <laughs> okay. This is a joke, right? Cold to the this touch. Joke. Oh wait, I, I got it. That. I got it. I got it. Give me a moment. What are you uh, doing? I'm gonna cast Rory's telepathic bond to Rowden. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a terrible choice. I I'm love putting this so my much. mind up to a monster. All right. <laughs> um, so this is my final fifth level spell slot for this. Um, Delicious. But now we have a telepathic link. Um, I can open this up to everybody. Should I? Or should I just do me and Rowdy? It's totally up to you. It's up to you. Your game. Okay, I think. Can I add people after I do this, or do I have to choose? I will allow you to add people okay. as you go. Yeah, especially in this. So it'll just be Telza. And when Telza does this, she reaches into her back, and it's like she pulls the shine off of some, some of the gems that grow out of her. And she weaves it through the air, and then it connects like... Um, like you've ever seen sunlight catch a thread a very familiar thread that now mm. connects them and Rowden and they go hey uh you're not actually dead right death is my domain ah Welcome. Stinky. Stinky man. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're bringing, like, part of, like, whatever metaphysical manifestation of this, like, transcendent plane, this telepathic link, you're bringing what you look like. Rowden is simply in the center of a dais uh, going on to infinity with the face of a being behind them masked and shrouded in shadow ever shifting okay I'm gonna... you're not who I expected uh, you're different too you're kind of like more Something to do with that fate, Weaver. <laughs> you still worship dragons? Or is it something else? <laughs> no way. Everything and nothing in death. Hey, why do you want to get up? Or should I bring everybody else here? Well, I was hoping my quarry would stumble in here. I'm sorry, quarry? That's, uh... Yes, my market targets. Uh... The ones very dear to me. Rowdy, have you spoiled, like, milk? 
Because you're starting to sound like you spoiled like milk. Aged milk becomes other things. Cheese. Okay. Beverages from the north. With the idea of Beverages you being soul cheese, <laughs> I'm gonna like grab the others because this is getting gross. Just give me a moment. And Telza is going to reach the connections out to the others, to oh, Millie ew. and uh, Leighton in this moment. And when they do that, because they're just standing there, and you described what Rowden looks like in this mind space. So I'll describe that you only get an image of what Telza. Telza's aura as they cast magic in this space and as they go like this to reach out to the others you see vast wings behind them and then both Leighton and Millie are added to the call <laughs> does, does Leighton show up as his nightmare form is my question <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's the vocal component of it yeah of course of course Thanks, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways. If uh, I tear this audio away and just do it in podcast form, I'll just put the Skype sound right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you're added to the collect call. Welcome, Millie, Layton. Um, Cassie, you from a distance are looking at these four, just like not moving. Mm-hmm. I'm just making sure that no one needs help. Not yet. Is what Cassie is. Like, that's what's going on in her mind. Makes sense. So, Leighton, Millie, you've been added to collect. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Oh, my God, you're alive. I feared for the worst. I'm so glad to see you well and good. Uh... You speak in Celestial, yes? Indeed. Finally, I, we're I... all together. Yeah. Why are you smiling like that? Can we can we we stop for a moment? He said he was here for his. No, (laughs) no. Wait. Okay. You come to my domain. Uh, Patches back. Patches back. You froze. You said. Yeah. There you go. You go. You go. He said he was here for like his quarry. My blessed dear ones. Why you smile? Stop smiling. Why? Why you smiling like that? Stop. Millie, welcome. Yeah. Rowdy, why? Why are you? <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> yes, are now. you still a hype? Are you it's still a high work. priest, or is that changed now? Also, what's the the, the, the tattoos? Wait, what's that? What's that for? So, I mean, I, I, it's a great look. I like a line it. For each of you that I have lost, or I thought was yeah, lost. I mean, oh. Lost. Like an itch you can't quite scratch. Okay, yes. all right. Well, I don't like being referred to as an itch, first of all. You could be... Now, now you're here. Uh, yeah, I am. Now Stop. I can offer you the gift I've been so longing to give you. I don't want it. Mm-mm. I do. Whatever I it is. You've no, already you don't want it. it. Lane. Lane. I don't think oh, you want it. I think you want it. I've already accepted it, I, I think. Nope, uh, sending it back. Somehow. I kept the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> and I will project a page from my tome with their names on it. Okay. I've been searching for you. Okay. I'm here. Now what do you want? we can do great deeds together. Okay, but when you say great deeds, especially with the way you're smiling and like staring at us, I feel like See, look, it got worse. Second, I said that it got worse. Um, what do you mean, just great by great here. deeds? You know what? I would have been happy to see you until I have now seen you, and it's a little bit jarring. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, who you? Everything has been leading to this moment. The fate weaver brought us together once more. But no, not no, here. not yet. One left. One other person. We okay, need. hold on. Oh yes, now the we're fate weaver. I understand. Train. Yes, yeah. I'm on the same page. The title. I did not understand the title before. I thought you were speaking of the gods. Yes, of course you are speaking of the Fate Weaver themselves. Yes. 
That's right. Catches wow. himself just before they say Cassidy because he's like, no, their name is now the Fate Weaver wow. in this realm. That's what they call in themselves. Can you please stop? Did you not know this already? This. Okay, all right. A very important detail. It's the beginning of our threads together, now and forever. This is not, this is not, this is not, listen. Couldn't we have just grabbed lunch? Could we not have just not grabbed lunch and caught right. up like normal people? Get a lunch! Get a lunch, lunch. lunch there, young man! <laughs> the child far away lunch. that Satan that, that starts yelling at, Get us lunch! Lunch! <laughs> Go! They're in the middle of a class and just freak out, they're like, oh my god, oh my god. Late, it's not even Leighton is screaming it, but casts like tele tele fucking like mindly yeah, yeah. <laughs> telepathic <laughs> arms on them. They scream <laughs> they in the middle of class. The best part is it's Evangeline's class. They scream in the middle of it and just go running out of the room. Um, <laughs> knock three, say knock three times, knock anymore, and I will disintegrate you. <laughs> I will, I will, I will also include that cheese. You added a cheese last time that I liked very much. Please, that. Oh, we have oh more God. friends. Please, four please of them. That. Please, I... that. Patrick, you. Uh... Go ahead. <laughs> um. Hmm. I think at this point, because Layton's getting worse. Yeah, and they're not helping each other. Yeah. Um, no. No at all. Telza is going to cut the connection. Okay. To cut the Thank connection. You. To maintain it. Thank you. But it's Telza's spell. It's my spell. But I can oh, touch your minds now. Yeah. Do you want to roll <laughs> for this? Because I can do something else. Um, it's a connection through the book because their names are in my book. Uh, okay. I so. Can so you can try. To... I can continue to but not, not them in this space, but I can continue to speak into their minds. Oh, my okay. God, can, does Telza count? Because Telza now has a no. new name. Yeah, Tyrant never wrote Tell their name not, either. Oh, I thought Tyrant wrote their name. Okay, well, never mind then. Um, no, it's just it would just be Layton and it would just be Millie. Cool. Um, I have a question. Yes, oh, boy. That book of yours, mm -hmm. it has a life into itself, right? Yes. I like that mm -hmm. this is going. This is good. This is good. Cool. So <laughs> sensing the skeins of magic are thick, sensing there is what mm -hmm. is effectively a cage here, um, Telza is going to reach into themselves and for a second they flash and there is you get like an image and an image and an image you see telza but you also see tyrant mm -hmm. and then they're going to reach forward and it's like tyrant's hand reaches forward and i'm going to cast banishment on the book oh shit yo <laughs> i'm going to use my i'm going to use uh the blah, 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 yeah. what's it called Sorry, it returns to its home plane, correct? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna Unless use... this oh, okay. plane is its home plane, then it goes to the demi plane. Yes. Um, I'm going to use Font of Magic to gain a fifth level spell slot back and going to cast Banishment using a fifth level spell slot. <sighs> Holy moly. Okay. Hooray. Uh, so I will let it happen. Okay, you let it happen. It goes away. Poof. Yeah. Are you still uh, telepathically connected, or you did you? I think that would have been the snap at that That's point, of releasing it then. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't Be like right. that. I did not like that either. I did not. No. No. Mm -mm. Layton. Layton? Yes. I know, Rowdy got you all excited, but I'm going to need you to stay with me, okay? I'm stay with you. Me. I'm here. Are you sure? I am only in one timeline oh. now. Oh, the past yes. few weeks, I've been in but one timeline. Okay. But I've okay. lived more and see more. I'm here. Why do you ask? 
just... I just... I'm just gonna give Leighton a hug. I feel like okay. I... <laughs> I'm just gonna oh, my just... dear friend. Yes. It picks up Millie and swings oh, around God. like a grandfather Cute. seeing a granddaughter is so excited. <laughs> it's like, it's so... Leighton is so tense a lot of the time and is very yeah. on edge. And like, you can see it's like he heightened to a feral degree now, but holds Millie with so much softness is like, it's, it's so excited because they have both waited, a, what, a day, but then also 25 years. To, yeah. to see Millie again, so he's like very excited. Yes. Um, it's so as, good to as, see you again. It's good to see you too. As you are distracted, just a little blip of magic oh. show, and then suddenly Rylan's awake, and there is a little okay. dwarven woman standing okay. there beside them as well. Uh, oh. I ready banishment. <laughs> Excellent choice. No one gets to stay. Cassidy, from a distance, what are you doing? This is wild to see from a distance. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay. Legitimately, that's all that's going on in Cassidy's brain, because because her memories of the other timeline are more smudgy. They are. They're um, a more. And she's been having nightmares for the past couple days. Her divination <laughs> spell said, be cautious. And then all of a sudden there was this dragon that showed up. So this is completely she, wild. She's her. like, I am out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So she's just sitting and watching from a distance. Okay. Cool. I just wanted to make sure. All right. Rylan, you're up. What do you want to do, dear? Peace. I think... I like something's the not face. right no. here. No, you were making a nice face for a second, then you started smiling again. Stop it! Just relax, relax, just a little. Okay, that's better. All right, Rowdy, what the hell's going on? Why are you playing dead on the ground? Something like is we're very six. wrong here. It doesn't make sense. None of you make sense. This. No. No, this is real, no. Leighton? This is... It is. It is. This is real. real. This is real, but this is real as, 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 as us. It is our creation. This is what happens when we change fate, much like what we did. We are the only people in existence that have ever lived two completely separate timelines. And we are here now. Other people, I'm not so sure. They, they are deceased in one life and, and alive in another. But we are alive and we exist. And we exist now. We are. We can make this world what we want of it. There okay, are gods well, that have not lived the times that we have. Rowdy, you know this true. as much as any. We need the Fate Weaver here. I have reached out many times. I believe I have convinced them to come. Please, Ken, who is... He keeps saying the Fate Weaver, and that's not really helping. Yeah, who's fight? Who's the Fate Weaver? Uh, you see the squires like look up to you. Uh, oh, that's that's totally Cassidy. That's who he's talking about. Yep. Oh. Gotcha. Yep. Cassidy's coming. Okay. I didn't know. Oh. Wait, when when was she supposed to get here? Cassidy, that that reaches your ears. I guess that makes sense. I've tried to summon them. I tried to find them before. To make sense. I really do have a question as to what your plan was with Fan and Death on the ground, though. That doesn't seem like you were trying to summon anybody. That seems like you were trying to trick somebody. Are are you trying to go back to the like other timeline? I need all of us here. And soon, we will be together again. Oh my gosh, look at this. Why are no. you rolling? Who's rolling? Ivy? Were you rolling? What? Don't bother me. Who's Don't that? I heard you. <laughs> Just check it, someone. That's all. Don't mind me. You right. Look, Don't mind me. In, in less than a minute, that book is coming back. Banishment only lasts for a minute. Yep. Correct. Unless it's from a different plane of existence, then it remains banished. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
rad. So it, it depends works. on if it's can, from this plane of existence. I can just summon it back to my hand, no matter what plane it's on. Yeah. I need some. I what? I need a fancy item. I want something that I can just. So, you did. My you had arguably the fanciest <laughs> items. You had the fanciest yeah, items. Yeah, but he ran away. to free a dead god. He ran away. I gave up, I gave up my we... AC for this one. I <laughs> you did. We friends. should talk about when the Fate Weaver comes. When they arrive Wait, to us. When is Cassidy? Okay. okay, Fate Weaver. Ca when is Cassidy getting here? Cassidy, I don't know. Hello. What I would you like to do? Cassidy, what would you like to do? You've heard your name many a time now out loud said in conjunction with fate weaver you know you know your relationship to fate you know your relationship to nexus it is not out of the realm of possibility that they are talking about you that you've done something i cast divination <laughs> what do you ask uh should i go not should i sure Would it be in my best interest to go over there? Ooh. I'm gonna send you an answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna DM you. An okay. Answer. Uh, just so all of you know, whenever Cassie is casting divination, she has a deck of cards that looks exactly like the deck of many things. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a unknown gift that she got at an unknown point in her life that she just always had. And any time that she has trouble, she just draws a card and is able to divine an answer from the about the That's future cool. from it. That's pretty mm. cool. That's Great. pretty delicious, actually. Yeah. Oh. They're reading. Mm hmm. Information is happening. I, I need I need clarification. Hold on. You clarification. I I was so sorry. I can clarify. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, Cassie will no longer be stealth, and <laughs> will come join the group, and say, "I don't know how you all know my name, but hi, I'm Cassidy. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the Fate Weaver." Uh, this is Aurora, as I point to a giant Whole suit game. of armor. Not, not a giant, like, a large <sighs> suit of armor, like, seven feet tall. Sword just... in hand. Kind of idle. Yeah. Oh. You see, you see Millie jumpstart a little bit, but then at the rec recognizing that you don't know who we are, just kind of stops and immediately looks like crestfallen. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Millie. Everybody introduce, introduce yourselves to Cassidy the Fate Weaver. Hello, Cassidy. Favorite doesn't know who we are, but, but... Can you sound a little less yeah. aggressive? That oh makes my sense. God. It's just it how I sound. Oh, we can try something new. We try new things all the time. Rowden, this makes sense. <laughs> if they were the one to make the decision to change fate, then they would, they may not be the one to remember the fate that they changed. The last 25 years to them. Okay, wait, let's out. There wasn't a diverging path for them. Or there wasn't a diverging path for you either, Millie. So then, I mean, the only reasonable explanation is that they don't remember the other timeline. They don't remember the time that they saved or the cataclysm or the storms or anything. But well, they might remember some of the cataclysm right. and storms. Are you guys talking didn't. about the dreams that I had? Yes! Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, You've, You've had dreams. prophetic dreams? I've, I've, no. I've... Not prophetic. Dreams of another life. Dreams of a life lived and... and uh, the beasts and the creatures within them, ones that I had connected into their mind since I thought that they weren't responding just through... Are you the one who was giving me nightmares? Oh. What? Oh, let me in! Night nightmares I... in a sense, but Are just you... visions of the other time. Oh. I thought that they had lived that life. 
I thought that they had seen that timeline. But if they hadn't, then of course, yes, it is nightmarish. We lived through an awful nightmarish... Yeah, it was, it was god-awful. Time, yes. Um. Elsa is just going to, like... You know, not when you cuff someone where you just, like, gently tap the back of someone's head with your palm. It's just like, come on, man. Um. Well, um. we are together again. Hold, hold on, uh, Cass. Uh, um... The most important thing is that we, um, you may not remember it, but we were friends once. You look familiar. Companions. Great you, adventurers, in fact. You look amazing. I'm, I'm telling you. Well, I mean, thank I you. Need, yeah, you, like, I love what you've done with the hair and, like, that's great. You look great. <laughs> Almost all of us look. I mean, you're pretty cute. Significantly yourself, so. different. Thank you. Oop, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, so, um, what did you all want with me? Uh, well, you, you need to tell me what these are. A pair of glasses. Glasses. <laughs> Take them. Take them now. Takes the glasses. <laughs> yeah, All of you me. were at some time very dear to me. And I oh. kept reliving my memories, but not my memories. Yes, yes. I thought you were all gone. No. No, not gone. I take out, um, because she still carries it with her. I take out the, the pieces of parchment that she'd written on everybody's names, where they thought they would be, and shows kind of, it goes up to Rowdy. And she's, do you remember who you were when I, do you really remember who you were when I wrote this? It's okay. Pieces. Pieces. I've okay. rebuilt this life into... into... more. And, and I honor the names in this book. And, okay. Well, they can never die. Alright, okay, but the names in this book are also people that traveled with you and saw you as a friend, so maybe you can call us friends first. Before we're names in a book. I'd like to remember that. Uh, real quick, Casty hands Rowden back the glasses after using magical tinkering on them. Uh, asking you to try them on. Very well. Uh, on the surface of the glass, a image magically appears, and it's one of Cassie's dreams that she had. It was all of us in the library, like, enjoying each other's company. Yeah. And this is, like, from Cassie's perspective, seeing you all sitting around a desk, like, researching and, like, looking at books, and Tyrant is currently, like, eating the crystal. <laughs> No, stop! <laughs> it's basically just like a snapshot of that moment. What do you mean it's cursed? <laughs> just like little replays of time. Little bits of audio. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't. It doesn't matter. We're here now. I'm still confused about what's going on. 
Yes, that's bad. That's, that's a... We are two in the open. Listening ears, listening eyes. We should go back to my study, the library, yes. and we can discuss there. Yes. Uh, with with lunch. Yes, lunch will be getting cold by this time. <laughs> do, do you have transportation? Uh, I could. We can walk. We're not that far away. We're in the university we're not that far. halls, aren't you're, we? You're basically in the grounds. Like you're near yeah. enough where it makes sense. It's just like just... flew to the tree line. <laughs> it's like an awkward walk, though. You're like, this is an awkward. Thing with a lot of people that maybe and Cassie yeah. is confused like it's it's an awkward walk but you can make it back um and you do you make it back and there and is plenty of food that has been left outside your door hungry. yeah and as you're replaying it you guys can kind of hear like the little snippets of audio on occasion coming from the glasses when you make it back poop to it the door, out poop it out <laughs> <laughs> When you make it back to the, the door, there is plenty of food that this little poor little student has left um, for after being yelled at by Lane. Give them a scroll of... <laughs> Alright, where's my sticky note? Uh, <laughs> I give them a dimension door. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Yo, and it, listen, at least he's not stingy. <laughs> all right, dimension door given to the little student before this. All right, cool. All right, done. You enter into the library with your food. Mm -hmm. How are we going to unwind this? I could go back into a dreams i still have some residual magic left over and i can show cassidy the 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 the, the adventures with all of us that we had cash them up to speed whilst they're sleeping we lived i mean i lived the definitely the past 25 years were living both side by side and when i slept i lived in that realm and when i woke i lived in this or the other way around i'm not quite sure but we can just give them footnotes cliff notes on our time together an understanding of, of what happened and what's to come without all the details that aren't relevant. Cassie? I, what, what, I, what I remember from my dreams is, like, there was a wasteland, then there was a library, yes. then there was a temple, then there was, yes. like, that dream goddess, and then there was a goddess of yes. hate. Yes, 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 yes. All of those, all of those are true and i remember playing a card game with the goddess yes and that card game is what brought us here that card game is why this cataclysm that wasteland is why it never happened is because of that card game we risked it all for um we risked it all for for this this and and it worked and we all were able to get out with the memories of both realms, but you unfortunately could not because you were the one that risked it all. Okay. But you, you seem happy. Oh. Life's great, you know. Uh, partying all the time, ch reigning champion over the Snurby. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? What do you what do you do? I'm a professional snurby racer. Go ahead, Petra. Telza is just gonna pull out a rolled up poster and just like pass it into Millie's hands. Not say anything. Oh. Keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. That's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, I wish I wish we still had the Ca Cassidy. Do you do you want to know? I, think I know I'm Layton fine is not off. Knowing. You're okay. Like I remember that? enough. Okay. All right. Then I think we should. Then we can respect that. Don't you think, Clayton? 
I can see the reasoning why, but I will give my thoughts. We are not quite yet done. Close, yes, but there are mysteries and things to be solved. Things that we still do need to do. Yeah. And if the Fate Weaver does not know why we do these, they might know why in a logical sense, but in an emotional understanding sense, the, the sense that helped us fix 25 years of torture, yeah. then perhaps it will not work quite as well the second time. Uh. Second time. The saving of the world. The speaking to the gods. The, the, the needing to solve the unanswerable questions. These are all things that we did. And things that yeah. need doing again. There is a lost god Wait. which is just out there. There are I have okay. a, I have I have tomes of secrets that people in the world hold and only the smartest and the most dangerous of people have access to, but we now also have access to, because in our timeline they were lost and they died. And the secrets were able to just flood hallways, but now they they oh, just, it's I, okay. Layton. What? Layton, Layton, are you okay? We... Really? I am okay as a god can be. One with the weight on their shoulders and the and 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 the knowledge of entire timelines lost. We all have a responsibility here, and a responsibility to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And we all need to make sure that all of us are fighting fit. Can yes. we do the rest of this conversation with drinks in hand? Because it's getting a little heavy and there's a lot of food, not a lot, not enough drinks. Yes, That's very right. good, very good, very good. Layton hobbles out. I've... <laughs> Millie is just seeing... Someone who has been out of touch with humanity for a little too long. <laughs> Are we sure that he's okay? No. I absolutely think he is not okay. Okay. I want to make sure we were all on the same page. <laughs> yeah. So, and which is so, which is so, which is really so sad when you look at it because Layton just thrives on people and customs and learning about cultures of different, like, and connecting with like yep. the human experience wherever he can find it. And it's just, it just feels so far. Real quick, everybody roll me a perception him. check. Oh boy. Me? You included on your way out the door. Oh Bye. boy. Because we are reaching end of time Ooh. for this particular, sh particular perception? session. Perception. End of dirty, time. Dirty 20. Uh, 21, gamer. 20. 22. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, you don't get an eight. You get a seventeen. You're welcome. There you, there you go. You. Oh, all right. Delicious. All right. So you all see it. <laughs> Layton, you go the hobble out of the room. You all, Rowan, are kind of dealing and struggling and wrestling with the idea of maybe you were not quite correct in what you were looking for. The other three of you are worried about Layton as Rowan is looking at this image in this in this photo. But out of the corner of that reflection and these glasses, Rowan, you see something purple, something small, something round, and the rest of you see it in a flash. Something, su something on your desk, Layton. Something small, something round, something, and it sucks a piece of paper down into it, and then it is gone. What? What Sorry, was what? the piece of paper? Is Leighton able to, like, remember what the paper it was, was? It was just a, a scribble. Absolute. Something insignificant. It's gone. And the pur the purple thing is gone as well? Purple or the purple thing is... No! This, this purple little <laughs> hole in time, space, and reality is gone. We're gonna end session. What? Oh, motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> nice. What? I know what this is. Yeah, you do. Uh... <laughs> Yep, but yeah, that's the end of that session. I love this for us. Uh, There's a new god on the loose. 
and I think that's excellent. There's a skull that's <laughs> sitting on the throne, and a steampunk put together throne, and an I love it here. And there's a small, and, I love it. and there's a small little portal that's only gonna get bigger, and I can't wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you all for coming. Thank you all the people Ooh. who have come and watched. Thank you to my uh, secret codium GD who helped me with all of the magic items and made part of this game possible with our dear god escaping because we love him so much. And mm. we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Check out all of my wonderful players. They are incredible. I could not have this game without them. I could not have asked for a better cast. And I can't wait to see what else they get up to. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Ivy is the best GM. She's the best. Oh my God! Stop. Stop. We're, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. <laughs>